Evan Weber, head tattoo professional here at the Evergreen Golf Center. We're down here in the academy hitting balls on TrackMan, and today we're gonna to talk to you about Smash Factor. So TrackMan calculates Smash Factor as ball speed divided by club head speed, producing a Smash Factor. In this particular instance, I've hit my drive well off the toe. And when we look at the numbers, I've swung the club at 100 miles an hour for a ball speed of 137.2 miles an hour, which creates a smash factor of 1.37. And in this case, at 100 miles an hour, I've hit the ball 232 yards. So on my second attempt here, I've managed to hit the ball slightly closer to center, but this time off the heel. When we look at the numbers, I've swung at 101.7 miles per hour with a ball speed of 141.5, a little better, producing a smash factor of 1.39. And now we can see the distance goes all the way up to 258.3 for total yardage. Finally, on my third attempt, I've managed to hit the ball in the center of the club face. I've swung the club at 100.8, which is actually slower than the previous swing which I hit off the heel, and I've got a ball speed of 145.6. This produces a smash factor of 1.44, which is really close to what a zero handicap averages with their driver, which is 1.45. On tour, both men's and ladies, they average approximately 1.48. Now you can really see what happens to the golf ball when I catch it in the center of the golf club. I hit it 279 yards this time. In the end, center contact and an increased smash factor is generally better than trying to increase your club head speed at the sacrifice of your balance. And if you want to hit the ball in the middle of the club face more often, come visit us at the Evergreen Golf Center.